This is an unboxing of uh, Bench Power Supply Peak Tech 6226. It is very similar to 6225A, but it is more powerful and a little bit less precise. Now let's look what's inside. So here I can see the power cable. Here is a cable with banana plugs and alligator clips. And here is the actual power supply. As you can see, the box is already falling apart, so I guess the company was trying to save some money. And here is the instruction manual in German and English. Here is the side view and here is the back view. It has fuse, fan and uh, power switch. And my power supply was produced in June this year. Here I already turned on the power supply. It has some nice looking blue seven segment digits and two knobs for adjusting voltage and current. One output button and three outputs, minus, plus and ground. And of course it has these uh, cables with banana plugs and alligator clips. Here is a dead battery for a drone. Oh wait, let's just peel it off because it looks kind of ugly. So uh, here is a dead battery with XT30 connectors that I will charge for the sake of this video with a special cable with banana plugs and XT30 connector. So here I already connected it to minus and plus and now I will set up the voltage and the current. So for my battery uh, the voltage will be 11.2 and uh, here I selected 11 and after pressing the knob I can do the fine adjustment. So very convenient and now let's set the current to 330 milliamperes. Quite easy I must say. Here I already connected the battery and uh, my, uh, my settings are still on the display and after I press the output button uh, it the battery start, starts to charge and as you can see CC uh, is uh, lit up it means that uh, that uh, current is the limiting factor in this setup currently. After some time I decided to measure the current in this uh, setup uh, so I plugged in my uh, multimeter and measuring current that is going to the battery. As you can see there is a discrepancy between uh, uh, the power supply and multimeter. I'm not sure uh, which one is lying because uh, my multimeter is uh, set to up to 10 amperes and uh, it's not very fancy Chinese multimeter so I'm not, I don't know uh, which is more precise here. And now the battery is almost charged, as you can see the CV LED is uh, lit up, it means that the voltage is a limiting factor now. And uh, let's turn off the power supply and measure the voltage on the battery itself. And the voltage is still 11.2 volts, even though output is off. That's it for this short unboxing video. My battery is almost charged. I'm pretty happy with my purchase and uh, I hope it helps anyone interested in this power supply. Cheers!